This weekend, the NASCAR Xfinity Series is the meat in the sandwich of the throwback races. And like the Truck Series, we got plenty of cup guys dipping down, along with your host of normal Xfinity Series regulars, trying to tame the track they say is too tough to tame. And it's on Big Fox. It's going to be a really fun Saturday afternoon show at Darlington Raceway on Mother's Day weekend. But who's going to win the poll and who's going to end up in victory lane? Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to tell you who I'm going to pick. I'm going to go through the point standings, weekend schedule entry list, and give a preview of this weekend's NASCAR Xfinity Series race at Darlington. So buckle up. It's the NASCAR pre-race show on the spotter stand. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the NASCAR pre-race show for the 2023 Shriners Children's 200 at Darlington Raceway. The second of three races, oops, the second of three races this weekend for NASCAR Throwback Weekend. We're going to go 200 miles on the track, too tough to tame. Saturday afternoon around lunchtime on Big Fox. How about that? Xfinity Series finally getting their first uh, network television race of the year. Wish the Cup race could be on Big Fox for the Bean Throwback Weekend, big race and everything, but oh well. Um, going to be a really fun race. Uh, we can go through the weekend schedule, then we'll go uh, look at the entry list and look at the point standings going into this race, and then I'll tell you who I think is going to win the race and the poll. Practice is, is tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern, FS1, qualifying at 5.30 Eastern tomorrow, FS1. So again, like the truck series, about a half an hour or so for these guys to dial in their race cars. Race itself, 1.30 Eastern Saturday, Fox MRN, Sirius XM, NASCAR Radio. And I believe pre-race for that will, will probably start, uh, I think it's one on Fox and one on MRN as well. Looking at the Darlington entry list for this weekend... A lot of no notable names in the Truck Series, of course. A lot of notable names in the Xfinity Series as well. Ryan Truex, fresh off that Dover win, looking to win again this weekend at Darlington. Uh, Ty Dillon in the three car for RCR. Stephen Parsons in the 07. Who else here? Kyle Larson in the 10. Boy, that's a big name if I've ever seen one. Kyle Larson in the 10 car. Corey Heim in the 24 and getting some more Xfinity experience. Uh, Jeff Earnhardt in the 45. Chad Fincham in the 66 for MBM. Hosevar in the 77. They, they didn't uh, even attempt to make the race at Dover because of rain. They're going to try to make it tomorrow. Ross Chastain's in the 91 for, um, dang it. What's his name? Mario Gosling. Um, I might have just given away my pick with, uh, with, uh, Larson being in this race. So... Standings wise, Austin Hill is back in the Xfinity Series regular season points lead after Dover. They remember they did not race last weekend at Kansas. He leads John Hunter Nemechek by just four itty bitty points. He is second in the series, only behind Nemechek and Josh Berry with seven top tens. Nemechek and Berry each with eight. We have run at ten races. B uh, Hill, Nemechek, Chandler Smith, Sammy Smith. Are our four regular winners. There's only 40 guys locked into the 12 driver playoffs. First guy in on points right now is Josh Berry, plus 76. You have Allgaier, plus 70. Uh, Cole Custer, plus 60. Sheldon Creed, plus 56. Riley Herbst, plus 54. And Daniel Hemrick, plus 26. Last guy in, Sam Mayer, plus 9. Brandon Jones did a nice job working his way back from the depths of the points list uh, up to the cut line. He or Jeb Burton, what, sorry, I'm a... Uh, five drivers have uh, won their way in. I'm sorry, I forgot about Jeb Burton. He's 13th in the regular season, though, and he would only be, guys, 19 back of the cut line. Running well. Um, so, yeah, five guys have won their way in. Seven guys right now are in on points. So, uh, yeah, first guy out, Jones, minus 9. Kligerman, minus 19. Ryan Sieg, minus 37. Moffat, minus 51. Ritzloff, minus 68. Gralla, minus 100. Jeremy Clements, minus 111, Alfredo, C, Joe Graff, Williams, uh, Ellis, Poole, all the rest of these guys um, are all well in the triple digits, all going to have to win, basically, at this point. Owner standings-wise, let's take a look at that. Um... 
Um, first guy, I think it really matters for our first car anyway. The 10 is 6th in owner points. Uh, the... Would it be the 19 next? Where is the 19? They, the 19 doesn't uh, run every race. Oh, they're 8th, my bad. Um, and that's really it as far as any competitive cards. The 26 is 20th. Um, where's the 24 at? Couldn't find him. Oh, well. Um... Manufacturer wide, it's still the bow tie brigade out front by 28 over Toyota and uh, by 66 over Ford. Ford 38 back in Toyota. Chevy 6 wins, Toyota 4. Ford still has yet to win a race this year in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And now, my poll and win pick. I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it a little bit early. Kyle Larson's going to win this race. Um, at least I believe so. Nearly won it here last fall. Creed was right there, though. Gregson stole that one away. Look for RCR. Maybe Ty Dillon can finally do something other than wreck in a, in a NASCAR race car. Um, give me Larson for the win. I don't think he's going to qualify great. Uh, give me, like, 9th, 10th starting spot for him. Give me Josh Berry for the pole. JRM won here last uh, last spring with Holgaier, so swept here last year, actually. And I believe that's it. Uh, sorry for, the, well, this was on normal day. Sorry for a doubleheader day, though, um, in terms of pre-race shows. But tomorrow on Friday, Cup Preview Friday, Cup Preview Show on YouTube, and a podcast, the Below the O-Line podcast. It's here on YouTube and on all major podcast platforms, Spotify, Google, um, all that. And you can also email us, below the O-Line podcast at gmail.com. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, everybody. Full coverage this weekend from Darlington. Truck post-race show tomorrow. Xfinity post-race show Saturday. Cup post-race show Sunday. Going to be a great weekend of throwback race. And I'll see you on the next video. I'm Samuel Stubbs from the Spotter Stand. God bless. Peace out. Bye. And subscribe.